Well, now the issue at the heart of COP28 in Dubai is whether or not a worldwide agreement to phase out fossil fuels will be reached at this year's UN Climate Summit. Well, approximately 80% of the world's energy still comes from fossil fuels, which are the primary climate change driver. Take a look at this report to understand which countries are in favor of that agreement and those that are not. Countries clashed over a proposed agreement to phase out fossil fuels at the COP28 climate summit in Dubai on Saturday. Observers in the negotiations said Saudi Arabia and Russia were among several countries insisting the conference focus only on reducing climate pollution and not on targeting fossil fuels. At least 80 countries, including the U.S., European Union and many poor, climate-vulnerable nations, are demanding a COP28 deal that calls clearly for an eventual end to fossil fuel use. Mr. President, these COPs have been going on for a very long time. An official with the oil-producing group OPEC addressed delegates. Ultimately, this all energy, all people and all technologies approach need to be uh, uh, in adherence to the principles of equity and common but differentiated responsibilities. Earlier this week, OPEC sent a letter urging its members and allies to reject any mention of fossil fuels in the final deal. The letter was criticized by the EU's climate commissioner. It is clear that by many, including by me, that has been seen as out of whack, uh, as unhelpful. Other countries, including India and China, have not explicitly endorsed a fossil fuel phase-out, but have backed a popular call for boosting renewable energy. China's top climate diplomat described this year's climate summit as the hardest in his career. Climate vulnerable countries said a rejection of a fossil fuel mention at COP28 would threaten the entire world. The science tells us that tells us that these commitments are crucial. A sentiment echoed by protesters in Dubai. And we're here to say how mega corporations and fossil fuels industry is melting the planet. We're here to defend a phase out fossil fuels. Meanwhile, Sultan Al Jaber, the president of the COP28 conference, urged negotiators to put in more effort to reach an agreement on gradually phasing out global fossil fuel consumption. Take a listen. While I know we're making progress, I don't think we're making, we're making it fast enough. I wanted to break the silos. I want to bring them all together in one room, under one roof, in a round setting, in a circle, where we can talk openly, transparently, people to people. Al Jaber discussed some of the more controversial aspects of the agreement, namely what would happen to fossil fuels in the future. The COP28 president said failure and a reduction in the deal's aim were not choices anymore. I want everyone to come prepared with solutions. I want everyone to come ready to be flexible and to accept compromise. And I did ask, I told everyone not to come with any prepared statements and no prescribed positions.